Hi there, today I'd like to share with you Emoji Math. This game was created by my oldest son. Here he is when he was about 10 years old to practice multiplication. Okay, so let's just dive right into the things you'll need if you want to make this at home too. First off, a white poster board. Got it from the Dollar Tree. Next up, you'll need some printed pages of emojis. I'll let you know what kind and how many you'll need later on in this video. Next up, you'll need some game pieces and dice or die. I just grabbed this from the Dollar Tree because it was easy, but you could also borrow from another game that you might have laying around. To put the name on the game, some foam sticker letters, and then just some other stickers just for fun. A glue stick to put your emoji faces on the board and dry erase markers. These are not, sorry I grabbed the wrong ones, but just remember dry erase markers. Also, using laminating pouches and a laminator makes the game much more durable and a lot easier to play. There are five main emojis we'll be using. The happy face, the tongue out, shades, laughing tears, and the monocle. You'll need to make 20 or more of each of the five main emojis. I created a Word document and put 12 emojis per page, so it worked out to be about three pages for each of the five main emojis I just mentioned. Then I made a thumbs up emoji, two heart eyes emojis, one regretful emoji, one purple devil emoji, and a star emoji. This will make sense in a moment. After laminating and cutting, start placing them on the board. This is how I did it. I started with the thumbs up emoji to show where to begin. Then I began this sequence. The happy face, tongues out, shades, laughing tears, and the monocle. At the end of each sequence, there's a special. This time, I'm using the heart eyes emoji. Then just start the sequence again using the happy face, tongue out, shades, laughing tears, the monocle, and the special at the end of this sequence is the regretful emoji. Start the sequence again, and the special at the end of this sequence will be the purple devil emoji. Complete another sequence, and at the end of this one, you can place the second hard eyes emoji. This is your final sequence, and at the end, put the special star emoji. That signifies where the game ends. After you're satisfied with how it looks, begin gluing the pieces onto the board. Now let's make the cards. Make a small pile with each of the five main emojis that you have left after you've created the board. I made enough so that I have 15 cards in each pile. Grab a dry erase marker and on every card, you can write a different math problem. That's why I love laminating this. You can wipe it away and change it whenever you want to. Sorry, this wasn't easy with one hand. Just a quick tip, make sure you wave it or blow on it to dry it. Time for the embellishments. I just put some foam letters on the bottom just to put the name on the game and some smiley face stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree and a few from Michael's I think. I just put them all around. 
and I put the star stickers in a line just to show where the cards are placed on the board. Starting with the thumbs up emoji, this is how you will move along the board, going up and down again until you reach the star emoji on the other side. Here's the game I picked up just to use the pieces and I didn't realize the die was going to be the smallest die in the world. To begin playing, roll the die and move your game piece that amount of spaces. Each emoji equals one space. In this case, I landed on the tongue out emoji. So I'll go over to the card with the same face and answer the math problem on it. If I answer correctly, I get to move on. If I answer incorrectly, I have to keep picking a card from the same pile until I answer it correctly. There are a few specials on the board. If you land on the hard eyes emoji, it means you get another turn. If you land on the regretful emoji, it means you lose a turn. And the purple emoji means you go all the way back to the beginning and start over. Of course, you don't have to use specials. You can make this game however you want. There are so many possibilities. And the cleanup is really quick and simple. Just place the game pieces and the cards in a plastic baggie, tape that to the back of the whiteboard, and put it away till next time. This game could be used to practice addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, and I'm sure it can be adapted to other things like spelling or vocabulary. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.